Let's take a look at basic texturing techniques. We'll first get a fong material for the table. We could then connect an image directly to the diffuse color channel, but we would need to do a second similar operation to connect the image to the ambient as well. Instead, we'll go through the toolbar under Get Texture, where the default selected ports are ambient and diffuse. So let's get an image to connect to these ports. We'll click on New from File since the table texture we want has not been used yet and is not part of the source folder in our scene. Now we need to define how this texture will be projected on the table. We'll go in Advanced where we can specify the projection plane but also name that projection and its support. The green frame is the texture support. The texture projection lives on that support until the UVs are frozen. We will see this in the texture editor videos. The support can be transformed and animated and is constrained to the object. The projection residing on the support can be accessed by pressing the J shortcut key or choosing Modify Projection on the toolbar. It too can be transformed, but is constrained to the plane of the support. The cool thing about the texture support is that it can be recycled. In other words, more than one projection can be associated to a given support. This is convenient if a texture needs to be projected in the same way. For example, we'll get a new projection to connect to the existing support. We'll name it, then pick the texture support we want to reuse in the 3D view. Now let's get the spill texture, but this time, even though it isn't currently being used, it can be found in the source folder of the scene. The image property editor can display any of the texture's channels, including the alpha channel. At this point, we can select our new projection. For any given object, using the Explore button is a quick way to view the associated projections. After selecting one of them, We can isolate it in the Scene Explorer and expand it to find out which, which texture support it's using. We can see that currently both projections are using the same support. Now if we press the J shortcut key to see our projections, we can toggle between them by right clicking and see their names on the status bar bottom left corner. We'll scale down the spill texture and place it so the round part fits under the vial. By accessing the material properties, we can clamp the texture so it doesn't show a repeated pattern in the, in the OGL view. It is also there that we can specify which texture we want to see in the OGL view. Now let's refresh the render region to see our second texture. By selecting the image layer, we can control how both texture blend among themselves. Let's increase the weight of the spill texture. We can also open the Textures Property Editor 
and enable the effects to color correct the texture if it's necessary.